I asked on various social media platforms what was the most controversial Clash mini tech and I will rate them out of 5 stars having 5 being super controversial and 1 being a popular opinion and I can definitely say that there are some rather interesting ones. Let's start on YouTube first. First one I'd like to look at is by Ellie Gillanders. He thinks that Clash Mini should ban minis seasonally and temporarily to make room for more minis. This is definitely a 4 star hot take. I don't know how I feel about this, I probably would disagree because I feel like we literally don't have enough minis right now, let alone enough to think about banning some. I feel like banning heroes and minis would be lame and I would rather have season bans on things like gizmos or special tiles or maps or stuff like this. Next one by Chicken Little and he thinks they should expand on the PvE side of the game as much if not more than the online play. I feel like 3 stars is fair for this one. I would half agree half disagree with this as I feel like he's got a point in the game having potential in PvE but at the same time the mobile market just doesn't really look good for PvE games and for PvE games to be considered good you need like a strong story and probably a price tag on the game itself. Lazy Turf Battler says that the game's percentage chance of going global is going down with every update delay. I think that's a middle ground 3 star as some people think it will 100% go global and some people think it will not. I would say I disagree with this and I feel like his opinion is coming from an emotional perspective not a logical one. While update delays tax the player interest, I feel like that doesn't really correlate with global chance. The current player base is like a small sample to test and they are a very very small sample of what the total player base would be after global. So even if we all left there won't be any shortage of players. For the game to go global they need to figure out how to keep new players attention so they don't uninstall immediately after trying the game and they need to figure out a good end game system. I think the game is doing a great job at both of those things and it's only a matter of time till we see global. I could be wrong though but that's just my opinion. Now let's pick a few comments from reddit. Communication IC 3668 says don't make Clash Mini become more and more like Clash Royale. I'll give it 4 stars. I wholeheartedly agree with this but people seem to disagree. Everyone wants challenges exactly like Clash Royale. Everyone wants minis to have upgrades like Clash Royale cards. People ask for spells like in Clash Royale. People ask for clan wars like guys we don't have to straight up copy Clash Royale. We have made some unique stuff like raid and gizmos and special tiles. Even the win streaks are a cool unique system to gain trophies that's not available in other games. Benny the Boss 07 says any stun over one second need to be removed. This is a 2 star because I see stuns get a lot of hate. Personally I have always hated stuns in games because it makes you feel helpless like getting stunned by Frank in Brawl Stars you can just like leave the game man. But I would disagree with this because in Clash Mini you don't directly control the character so it doesn't feel as frustrating as it does in other games. I think they should stay but also the game can benefit from not being completely stun centered. The new healing granger upgrade was a great step to counter this problem. Finally let's go to Twitter. Frame says that it often is a skill issue. This is a 5 star level controversial comment because I constantly see a lot of people complain about the game being a casino simulator. But in all honesty, I've had times where I completely outskill the opponent and win without luck. Notice the detail in how he said often instead of always though because like some matchups like shield maiden double heal versus arch and queen are just unwinnable and losing them is like no skill issue by any chance. We also got George here with a very very hot take. He says boast abilities are completely useless. This is literally capable of breaking the star meter like what is this take? I strongly disagree like how can you even think that when the royal ghosts heal upgrade exists? What about the valkyries heal? Archer damage boost is actually one of the best upgrades in the game. Magic archer has a very crazy boost upgrade. Heck even swordsman gaining energy after a KO is considered a boost ability. Ooh, someone is knocking the door. All right, dude, what's up? I'm invading on your video. It's your boy, Spobe. The first hot take is gonna come from Mini J. Snowler is better than Shark Bowler. Bro, this is like a very hot take. I completely disagree with this. If you think that Shark Bowler is worse, bro, Shark Bowler has personality, has class. It's got Riz. This is a five out of five, super controversial. I think Shark Bowler is better than Snowler, and if you disagree, I mean, you better you better buy some toilet paper from the store because I can smell you from here. Second, 
opinion is coming from Merez. Golden Giant always has been the best tank in every meta since release. We need other tanks as good as Golden Giant, perfectly balanced. I definitely do agree, Golden Giant being one of the best tanks in the game. I'm going to rate this honestly a 1 out of 5. This is not really um, a hot take, but comparing to other tanks within the game, such as Guard, Knight, they only have kind of one ability. They don't typically have that heal until you really, you know, kind of invest into that unit versus Golden Giant can be a perfect, you know, zero star mini. Flash mini, take some notes. You guys done a very, very good job with how you guys built Golden Giant's kit and how he pretty much evolved from season two to season six. So I gotta say, congratulations. Last one I gotta say is the archer should be deleted. This is definitely a hot take. I would disagree with having her being deleted, but I would agree that she is very annoying. I feel like that what he needs to do is have one arrow to the back line and one arrow to the front line to chip tank minis but also put pressure onto the back line. But yeah, I would definitely rate this maybe a four out of five. Thanks for having me up, dude. I appreciate it. Have a good one, everybody.